Hello and welcome fellow coders. A few weeks ago I asked you guys in the community section what would you rather watch? A video about five technical or non-technical books and most of you guys voted for technical books. So here you have it. I'm presenting my personal top five books that I think you and every other software developer should read. Despite the fact that I've read excellent books on Java and Go, I wanted to present you with a list of books that, no matter what language you know or you don't know, you will still be able to read them and get a whole bunch of information out of it. So basically, the best bang for your buck. Speaking of bang for your buck, if you enjoy watching my content, please consider subscribing. It literally costs you nothing, but you get a whole lot of information to become an outstanding software developer. Okay, now without further ado, let's hop into my number 5. And that is automating the boring stuff with Python. Software developers are amongst the most lazy people on planet Earth. Automatically sending a funny cat video to all your contacts on WhatsApp, extracting a whole bunch of information from a website by the click of a button, writing a script to execute two shell commands. Yes, that's how we roll. Almost every single software developer I know loves automating stuff. And to learn it, there is no better book than this one. The examples in this book are written in Python, which is a language that a lot of programmers already know. Yeah, but I don't know Python. No problem. The first part of the book teaches you all the basics you need to know in order to follow along. And let's be honest, Python is a language that is fairly easy to pick up and always nice to have in your repertoire. Actually, it was the book that I learned Python with. The second part of the book is where the fun stuff happens. For instance, you will learn how to extract data from websites, read and write all kinds of data like CSV, Excel or PDF, automatically send emails or manipulate images, cat images to be precise. So if you want to make your life as a programmer as easy as possible, then this book is an absolute must read. Besides, if I would have to recommend only one book to a complete beginner, it would 100% be this one. Before I jump to the next one, I would like to mention that I will leave links to all the books in the description down below. So if you find a book that you would like to read, pause the video, scroll down and just buy it. It does not get easier than that. Alrighty, the next one is Head First Design Patterns. If you want to become better at designing software, then this book is an absolute must read. It leads you through all the patterns, their similarities, their differences and basically everything you need to know in order to write good quality code. One of the best features of this book is that it has so many visuals and pictures that make it incredibly easy to understand every single pattern, its purpose and what problem it solves. That was one of the key learnings that I had while reading this book. Do not apply design patterns just because Every single one of them has a specific problem it solves and should only be used in that case. By reading this book, you not only will increase the set of tools that help you write more maintainable code, but also to pick the right tool for the right problem. So if you want to level up your software design skills and want to write better code in general, make sure to read this one. The next book on my list is all about agile software development. If you want to know why all these agile frameworks are getting so much traction among us developers, then Extreme Programming Explained is the book you need to read. It brings together all the bits and pieces of a complete software development life cycle. Starting from the planning and ending with the customer using the product, this book covers every single step along the way and gives you hundreds of valuable tips and best practices that I consider to be industry standards. For instance, pair programming, test-driven development, continuous integration, customer integration, incremental planning, user stories and many many more. Another thing that this book stresses is how important a well-functioning team is. It explains why communication is key for the success of a team, how valuable feedback is and why a well diversified team always trumps a team where everybody is alike. This was actually one of my key learnings. If you work as part of the team where everybody likes to pair, everybody likes to write tests and everybody likes to improve, then you as a team can conquer the world. But this book comes with one caveat though. Compared to the other books on my list, I have to say that this one is a little bit harder to read. That is because the roughly 200 pages are so densely packed with information that you can find meaning in basically every single word. But still, if you want to work as an agile software developer, or even if you think that agility is just a millennial buzzword, I highly encourage you to grab this book and read at least a couple of chapters. Guaranteed, you will not regret it. When it comes to agile software development, Extreme Programming Explained is by far the best one that you can find. To be honest, I even would go so far and say it's the only one that you need. Number two on my list is soft skills. 
You might argue that this is no real technical book because it has not a single line of code in it. But still, I consider this book technical-ish because you will learn so many techniques and methods that you can apply to your daily life as a software developer. For instance, you will learn that being a good programmer is much more than being just a code monkey. The author emphasizes that if you want to progress in your career, you should definitely consider yourself a business person, renting your services to your company. He also teaches you hundreds of methods to advance the corporate ladder or start as a freelancer or entrepreneur. But the book has so much more to offer than that. You will also learn all kinds of productivity techniques and learning methods that you can apply immediately. And on top of that, you also get incredibly financial advice. Personally, I think that this book is the number one survival guide for every single software developer. If you take into action just 5% of what this book can teach you, I can 100% guarantee that your career will skyrocket. Definitely a must read. I have to admit, I'm a little biased on my number one because it was the first technical book that I read early in my career, but I have to say, it changed everything. I'm talking about the famously known Clean Code. I still remember the first time I read it. During every single chapter I thought to myself, dude, you're doing it all wrong. This was by far the book that I learned the most from. And I can guarantee you, no matter if you're just starting out or if you have 50 years of coding experience, you will still learn or relearn something while reading this book. Even though the examples are written in Java, it does not matter if you're a React front-end guy, a SQL database guru or a Go backend developer. You will 100% understand every single line of code in this book and take a fair share of information that you can apply to your language of choice. That is because the author did an amazing job in explaining every single concept in this book in such an easy and understandable way that it's basically impossible not to understand them. In roughly 300 pages you will learn everything there is to know in order to write readable, understandable and maintainable code. Are you sick of functions called process or manager classes? 20 lines of comment that out code that might or might not be relevant? Arrows that get swallowed because of reasons? The same function in 10 different places spread all over your code base. And of course, knock knock, race condition. Who's there? All these topics might seem easy at first sight and with a certain amount of experience they might become second nature to you. If and only if you learn how to write proper code. And this book by Lightyears does the best job in explaining how to write the so-called clean code. That is why I consider it the number one best book every single software developer should read. Okay guys, these are my personal top 5 books, but how about you? Is there any book that you would put into your top 5 that I've missed? Let me know in the comments down below. And again, if you want to buy any of the books, I've listed links in the description down below, so feel free to check them out. Okay, now there's only one thing missing. But I forgot what it was. Hmm. Oh yeah, until next time, keep on coding.